How to Draw Hands by Alexander Rishkin. Now, let's make another quick sketch, this time of a hand with a palm up. On the palm side of the hand, there are several landmarks. One is the eminence at the base of the thumb. Another eminence is the little finger side. We can mark these two groups of muscles in drawing. Between these two volumes, there is a triangular flat shape. This shape borders the area of four joints between metacarpal bones and phalanges. The thumb is foreshortened in this point of view, and we draw it as a series of oval contours. Fingers are also seen in perspective. That is why it is better to use contours here as well. This is especially critical for the little finger, which is foreshortened greatly. If we draw a little finger as an outline, it would look very strange. Therefore, we use contours, describing every joint as a cross-section. Such cross-sections are overlapping each other. That is fine as long as we explain the hierarchy of contours, showing which is closer and which is farther from a viewer. Let's check how golden proportions apply to the palm side of the hand. The length of the palm to the length of the middle finger does not follow the golden ratio. However, the length of the index finger fits this proportion perfectly. The golden proportion is in place for the palm and the middle finger without the nail part of the third phalange. There is one thing you need to know about the dimension of the hand. Its length is not the same when it is flexed as when it is extended. The difference in length is because of the wrist, which has its length as well. The length of the wrist is hidden when a hand is extended, so the hand becomes shorter due to this. However, when a hand is flexed, the length of the wrist is fully exposed and the hand becomes longer as a result of this distance. So, a flexed hand is longer and an extended hand is shorter. The dimension of hidden and exposed wrist is very important in drawing. Knowing this information will help you to avoid junior mistakes when drawing flexed and extended hands.